hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how to quickly fix the secure boot and tpm related error on your vanguard windows 11 so basic vanguard requires the tpm and secure boot to be enabled on your windows 11 in order to play the vanguard and the games so in order to check that we first we need to just simply tap the system information to check the just open the system information and we are going to check our secure boot status with this way as you can see here secure boot is off if your secure boot is also off then you might get the issue so we will enable this option now the second option is tpm just search tpm dot msc and simply open it and if it is showing 2.0 that means that you need to only enable the secure boot but if it is showing the TPM is not available or TPM is disabled so we have to enable the TPM as well so as you can see here I have the TPM here the version is this so I need to only enable the secure boot in my windows so close this and click on this option and search setting on the search then click on settings then we need to scroll down from the bottom and click on recovery then scroll down look for advanced option click on restart now confirm restart now Additionally, you can press shift and click on restart. Keep holding the shift key and you should be able to see the please wait option. Then you can release the shift key. Or if you have the bootable key knowledge, so directly you can press the bootable key. So there are three options to go into the BIOS. So I'm going to help you with the simplest method in Windows. If you don't know about the BIOS click on troubleshoot click on advanced options then click on UEFI firmware settings and simply click on restart now your BIOS may look different but you need to look for the secure boot option okay so in my case I should be able to find out in the device manager I need to expand that as you can see here secure boot configuration I need to hit enter you need to also look for the secure boot as this is disabled so we need to enable this option so I need to choose the custom here now I need to press F10 key on my keyboard so once I press F10 key it is saying to confirm so press Y So as you can see here when I save the settings secure boot is enabled now you should not able to see the error anymore so this is how guys you can fix the issue so I hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching